Hey, look. See that? Fuck those cunts. You watching a story on the Arasakas or narrating porn? Gee, aren't you funny? Look around. Look what they've done to this hood. So, you ready? Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. Always been a corpo cog. A replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks, best you could hope for was to be a scav exterminator. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. Sure seem to know a lot about... Well... Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. How you find life under my skin? Well... Most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Listen, will I notice the change? Or is it one of those things where I'll wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human, rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually align pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. Ah, oh, there it is. The crusade. Get to Mikoshi. Smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. Not good. Don't hit that button. What? He's 
narrow-minded won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits. Could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? See something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely, and he's always been a good guy. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the Mox didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above Clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds. As if it were her idea. You might be on to something. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. 
Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. gonna be there you met Michael that prick still works here it's cuz he follows her orders pretty damn precisely well, what do you want to do I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face somebody fine want you to do it don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker so we going there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. That's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you reaped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. You a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. 